Let's look at some of the factors which influence the shape of the IPR curve. The flow rate, Q, out of the formation is primarily a function of the pressure drawdown. That is, the difference between the average reservoir pressure and the bottom hole flowing pressure. For a given average reservoir pressure, then, each bottom hole flowing pressure corresponds to a flow rate. We plot this function on a pressure flow rate graph, like this. When the bottom hole flowing pressure is equal to the average reservoir pressure, there is no flow. That is the point on our graph where P sub R bar equals P sub WF, and the flow rate, Q, is zero. We continue plotting the IPR by reducing the bottom hole flowing pressure, that is, increasing drawdown. As the bottom hole flowing pressure is reduced, the flow rate into the wellbore increases. As the bottom hole flowing pressure goes to zero, the flow rate reaches a maximum value. This maximum flow rate is referred to as Q prime, or the pumped off or open flow potential of the well. As the well is produced, it is likely that the reservoir fluids will be depleted, and the average reservoir pressure will gradually decline. At some future time, there will be a new lower average reservoir pressure and a new IPR curve with a lower Q prime. The IPR curve shrinks as more fluids are produced until the pressure has dropped to a point where the well no longer flows.